Hi everyone, in this video I thought I'll show you a quick time lapse of how I draw in my nature journal. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you probably know that all of my other art which is in colored pencils or in watercolors is a little more detailed and time taking. So I try to keep the art in this journal very loose and instinctive. So. So because it doesn't take me a lot of time to put in, you know, art in this sketchbook, it takes the pressure off and I can actually manage uh, to squeeze in some art time, some me time in between all of the other things that I have to do in my day. So, so in my nature journal, I actually try to record any of the observations um, I've made from the natural world around me and so this could be you know like birds bees insects and there's flowers and fruits there's a lot uh, to see and especially once you start purposefully noticing that there's a lot happening around you even if you don't actually always see it so so when i started this nature journaling practice my uh, my idea was to to become a little more mindful of the nature and, and learn more about it in this sketchbook you know i i record all of those things that interest me and i'll probably do a flip through of my 2019 sketchbook at some point um but for this spread i was inspired by a brown rock shirt that visited my balcony and and although it stayed only for maybe maybe 30 seconds i managed to take some really blurry photos from my phone and what was interesting was that the bird sat there and it seemed to be moving its head around in in various directions and probably looking for a meal or listening to something and i found that very interesting and i wanted to record its different uh, its its subtle body movement as it turned its head around and then you know just simply dove off the edge of the balcony and and i added this small craft paper um, just as to, to to give a to give this spread a little more interest and and because this uh, video was recorded um, right when India is in the middle of its lockdown for COVID-19 so so I also wanted to record some feelings and feelings that I have uh, over being confined uh, to my home and not actually being able to venture out and so that you know maybe maybe next year or five years later when I look back it's um, it, it's something to to see and and remember probably not fondly but you know just remember that we went through this and we all survived so so here uh, in this spread I've I've tried to keep the sketch very loose and I've also made sure that my watercolor is simply about um, showing the bird and not necessarily uh, recording any of the details but the one detail that I did want to record um, is the is is how the shadows fell on that day. It was a very sunny afternoon, and as you can see, that there's a very distinct form shadow in the body of the bird, and also a cast shadow. So for this spread, I've actually used maybe three or four colors, and and because I really wanted to keep this sketch simple, it was really just about. Um, capturing this moment so otherwise i'm keeping this uh, spread actually very simple and uh, minimal but uh, but yeah you could add whatever interests you any of the observations from that day you know what is the temperature like how is the sky clear clouds or not and um, you know probably one of the birds you saw it's there's so much to record that you really have to take your pick and you'll never be short of material. So thank you for watching this video. I'll, I'll make a separate playlist and, and I'm going to be uploading a lot more uh, videos about nature journaling, just some more tips and tools and what to include. And, and I hope some of you find it interesting 
and if you do please do subscribe and like the video um, and yeah thank you for watching bye